Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with the Dog. こんにちは。ファンの方がこんな立派なコブを送ってくださいました。今日はこれを使って富山の郷土料理コブ締めを作ります。コブの旨味が食材に移ってとっても美味しくなります。First, let's clean the surface of the kombu seaweed with a kitchen brush. You can also wipe the kombu with a tightly squeezed kitchen towel. However, the white powder is the crystallized form of the umami and contains much of the flavor, so don't remove it. Next, mist both sides of the kombu with sake. You can also dampen a paper towel with sake and gently wipe the kombu. Place one sheet of kombu onto a tray covered with plastic wrap. If you can't use sake, Dilute vinegar with the same amount of water and use it instead. Now you have two sheets of kombu seaweed to sandwich the ingredients. If a large sheet of kombu isn't available, you can arrange these strips of kombu instead. Today we are also using spinach, so boil it and cut into 2 to 3 cm pieces beforehand. コブジメ can be made with a block of fish, but we are using sliced sashimi to make the コブジメ quickly. Slice the Thai red sea bream into relatively thick 8mm slices using diagonal cuts. Arrange the slices onto the コブ seaweed, but keep them from overlapping each other. A light taste of white fleshed fish goes excellent with the kombu's savory umami flavor, so red sea bream, hirame, suzuki, or samo are often used in this dish. Make a narrow space in the middle of the kombu and place the boiled spinach onto it. You can also use komatsuna spinach, broccoli, or asparagus spears instead. When you sandwich vegetables, be sure to make the height level with the sashimi. If uneven, the kombu and ingredients are not firmly attached together, so the kombu's flavor doesn't transfer to them, and sashimi may spoil quickly. When the kombu is covered with the ingredients, place another kombu on top. Tightly wrap it with plastic wrap. Place a light weight like a flat plate onto it and refrigerate for about 3 to 4 hours. Let's check the inside. The sea bream has firmly stuck to the kombu, so carefully peel the sheet off. The color has become slightly translucent and the texture is firmer and chewier than before. We tried several versions of this recipe by changing the thickness of sashimi and the refrigeration time. Our favorite recipe is letting 1 cm thick sashimi sit in the fridge for 6 to 8 hours. The Thai has fully absorbed the rich umami flavor, and the texture is chewy but not too firm. Avoid letting the kobu jime sit too long, otherwise, Thai becomes too firm like gummy bears. Kobu jime may produce sticky strings, and they are the part of the kombu component, so don't worry about it. Place the spinach onto a plate and arrange the sea bream slices. Enjoy the kobu jime with wasabi soy sauce to taste. Kobu jime was originally developed to preserve fresh fish for a longer time. In Toyama Prefecture, they even kobu jime nize seasonal vegetables and tofu. Thai no mi ga shimatte, umami mo mashite, hanto ni oishii desu yo. The leftover kombu can be used to make a dashi stock or enjoyed as an ingredient in oden, a type of hot pot, or nimono, a Japanese stew. Good luck in the kitchen!